Yes. This repairum, sci-fi, memorum, unis of. Better, Helen. Continue her search, Fitch. Both in quoque, et bellu, passus, dum continent urbum. Very loud from the beginning. Arma, bumque, cano, triore, qui prima saboris. Erebo, and? Italian, feto, perfugus, lavignacque, venit, litura. Herstifo? <laughs> Herstifo! Yes, ma'am? Continue. Living Craig Bennett? Yes. Malta Enum. Enum. Malta Olum. Olum. Maltum Olum. Somehow the pious and then it's has suffered much in the days still to come. Her stifle? Do you have any idea what you're saying? Her stifle? Thank you, please! Pardon me. If you please, ma'am, can we not at least consider Moulton Holland as a plausible conjecture for how the text might read? Herbivore, we are hardly here to conjecture about textual conjecture. The boy has made an error. Yes, an understandable error, though, ma'am. Can we not at least consider the fitness of the conjecture? Moulton Let us look to the fresh rhetorical balance, ma'am. Multum Olim, introducing multa quoque. A parallel, ma'am, between what Aeneas has already suffered in war and those sufferings that lie ahead. Egobor, since the days of Cephas, I was jealous and Claudius was his name. Since the moment of Virgil's death, our world has been listed with much more sufficient critical commentary on textual conjecture. With all respect, Mom, are you trying to say that there is no further room for critical interpretation or co- I am saying no such thing. I am merely stating that Percival has made an error. And I am asking, nay, demanding that you amend his faulty text and proceed. Do I make myself clear? Head of war! Do I make myself clear? Yes, Mom. Litora, Molten, Kile. The rest of you, we're about to go for. Let me not wait, Philip! Litora, Molten, Kile, et teris, iatatus, et auto, asus, dom condores, urban. Thank you, gentlemen. Now the next seven lines of the Virgil's death, from memory. Thank you, Malky. It was nothing. But still, I should have known that. Not an ear. What an sir. It's just happened up all night. In the most dark phantasms. You agree? Nightmares, really. Legs and stockings. Climbing over the podium next Oh, you mean that kind of dream. Have you ever suffered such horrific nightmares? Of course. We all have. Otto Lamamaya dreamt about his mother. <laughs> really? Georg Sershnitz? He dreamt about his reality. What? Fräulein Brassen Bassenhalter? <laughs> Percy, of all the pupils in this class, I hardly need to remind you that you are in no position to be taking liberties. Do and make myself. <laughs>
The main thing is, I pass! Yes. Oh, truly, heaven must feel like this! Yes. Now we see you out of them putting the coin. Why not complain for the boat face? I beg your pardon. Oh, calm down! Cross it up. Rupert all wreck you two! <laughs> now reverence and get some. <laughs> Yes, and you can lick it up. 